An apparent miscommunication causing a lot of emotion in San Marcos as some flood victims believe they may have lost their homes. We first told you last Friday about a letter the city sent to dozens of homeowners saying they had to raise their homes by a foot or get out of them. But yesterday, the city manager said that was not the case and apologized. But as KXAN's Heather Jackson shows us, there are still some unanswered questions. Driving down Barber Street in San Marcos, you'll see people still cleaning up from Memorial Weekend floods. But a letter they recently received from the city brought the rebuilding process to a screeching halt. I understand the work they put in. Uh, and then to receive a letter from the city. The purpose of the letter, like I said, is not to pile on. City manager Jared Miller now admits he worded that letter poorly. It gave homeowners the impression they either had to raise their house up or leave. But Miller says that's not the case. Instead, the letter should have said, elevate your home or risk not qualifying for flood insurance. We are required to enforce our own ordinances and policies, and those ordinances and policies were adopted uh, as a means to participate in the program in the first place. I spoke with FEMA, and they say the other part of the letter that gets lost in translation is the fact that their name should be kept out of it. FEMA says this new rule was created by the city of San Marcos, not them. Miller says the city will help owners pay for the cost to raise their homes, and that money won't come from taxpayers. Talk to us, because we can go over the unique situation with your property, because each one of these properties is unique. In San Marcos, Heather Jackson, KXAN News. Instead of tax dollars, the city manager says his office will connect homeowners with nonprofit agencies and other organizations that provide grants for flood victims. He also says in a few weeks, city engineers will go to each home personally to help them figure out the details.